Right. Well, why don't we uh, why don't we open it up to the audience for some questions? So, all right, right there. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. I think it was directed at me, but it was something about the first Saw movie at the end. I got up, yeah. Yes, please. He really liked the ending of the first song. Oh, was right. he's yeah. Like, he's in the bathtub. It was right there on the page. The brilliance of James Wan and Lee Wan L. And, uh, yeah. Fred? Um, I don't... Oh. Yeah, Fred, go ahead. Okay. Um, did you guys know how the... Yeah, good. <laughs> how the movies were going to go for the first one? How what? Like, how... Did you construct from the first movie, this is how the next six are going to look? Or did it take like the first one making a lot of money, or whatever reason it was to make sequels, for you to come up with storylines for the next film? No, I mean, was it always outlined that like, there was going to be seven? The we we knew directions? where we wanted to end. Okay. And when we were making <coughs> Saw 2, we outlined one long story. Okay. And kind of knew where we were going to go and how we were going to get there. Okay. And then Saw 7. Go ahead, Fred. Uh, I am personally very happy to hear that Carrie Elways is back in the movie as Dr. Gordon. Yay. I know from talking uh, to Lee Wan L, he always said that Dr. Gordon died from cutting his leg off. So how did you, what conversations did you ever have with him, and how did you reconcile that within the Saw family? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lee, Lee Wan L said that Dr. Gordon died? Yes. When did he say that? Saw <laughs> 2, uh, he said it at a Comic Con. Family, really? I think. Yeah, I believe so. Really? Um, he was joking. <laughs> he was joking. Make sure we don't pay leave for seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, you know what? There was a lot of debate on you know, and, and there was a lot of debate on what to do, and you know. That's what's nice about fictional characters. We you can change their fates. You know, one of the things we touched on was <laughs> the fans. You know, in in believe it or not, and Darren Bowsman's here, and he'll tell you we all read the chatties, we all read the you know the blogs, and. One of the things I think that people, what we really tried to do in Seven was answer all of those unanswered questions. And Dr. Gordon was, an, for us, and for the majority of the fans, um, a question that hadn't been answered. And so we want to make sure we answered that question. Okay, we only have time for one more, so right here. Yeah. Um, Robert, you speak with so much joy about this character. Won't you miss him? And, and for Are you going to miss uh, yeah. being Jigsaw? Of course, he's a good character. He's a, uh, he's a strong character. Uh, um, I think he, he's complex, and so that's what actors look for, to play characters like that. Then you end up playing one in an enormously successful commercial enterprise that has a lot of wonderful uh, moments and breakthroughs and technology and stuff like that. Yeah. Will I miss playing him? Uh, uh, it's like being a painter. You know, you, you paint a painting, and then you paint another painting. And then, you know, or you're a musician. You want to change the way you play music. You, you play another instrument, or you, you know, so. Oh, just admit it, you're going to miss Jigsaw. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> there, there's somebody I just want to say who, who's here tonight who uh, is new to the Saw franchise who goes through more pain, torture, and suffering in this movie than anybody ever has in a Saw movie. And he's great, and I see him in the audience there. Sean, you should just kind of... Sean Patrick he's, he's, he's so... He, he's just awesome in, in this movie, and uh, you guys are in for a treat when you see it. And, and there's somebody who kind of organizes all this, Matthew Clasby, who's here from Lionsgate, who kind of just makes everybody's job easier. Or did you want to tackle the second part real quick, or? Well, quitting while you're ahead? Or wh why now, I guess? Is, you know what, yeah. we, we, we kind of had a story, and, you know, even three or four ago, we kind of knew where we were ending. And, and what I mean is a story point on how it was going to end. And so 
Um, over the last couple, we knew we were getting closer to it, and then we kind of worked it out two ago that this was going to be the end, and, and the way it worked out story-wise. So, and we just really, in a kind of answering his question, again, we had a lot of unfinished business. You know, always in the soft films, we always kind of took two steps forward and one step back to try to backfill questions and leave more un unanswered questions. And we really tried to, for the fans, you know, give them a lot, whether it be 3D, whether it be the most traps. But for the, I think the real true fans is in answering a lot of little questions that they've had over the films. We'll Our fans are the best, by the way. They really are. You guys have stuck with us. And, and yeah. you can't find them. So should we show them some footage, yeah, I think, yeah? Right. Kevin, you want to you wanna set this up real quick? Yeah, just, we've got, um, what we're going to show you is the first uh, eight minutes or so of the film. Um, it's a work in progress, just so you know. Uh, the, the image quality, it, it comes straight out of our Avid editing machine, and so it's not going to be quite as, as clear as what you just saw in the teaser trailer. Um, there's some visual effects that are missing, and uh, the music is temp. There's there's some sound is missing, including some of uh, Jigsaw's voice is is actually the editor's voice in places. What? So just be be prepared. Be prepared for that. Try not to to, to laugh too long, because um, I know I do. But uh, I think I think you'll really like it. It's a, it's a it's a great scene, and um, very yeah, well. This it speaks for itself. There's some surprises and. Uh, it's it's just it's not like anything you've ever seen in Saw, so I hope you like it. 